two-time Olympic gold medalist, Chloe Kim is now in Fortnite as their newest icon series skin. Epic Games was nice enough once again to give me the outfit early to review for you guys. So let me show you the edit styles first. We have Chloe Kim here, her original style. We have back to back edit style with a black and gold. What color gold is it? We don't know yet. The reactive style called deep freeze. I'm assuming it has something to do with eliminations. So I don't want to show you what it's going to look like completely reactive yet because I don't want to spoil it. And then the same style as the reactive, but is now non-reactive called pink poppies. The back bling is called the Sub-Zero Flight. Nice pair of ice wings. We do have ice wings already, but these are drastically different. This harvesting tool, the Frozen Flourish. We have something similar that we can kind of create with the superhero stuff. We don't have this impact, the snowflake impact, and it does sound very good. And then the Noon Bola. I'm not sure how to pronounce this exactly, but a really, really clean looking glider. The emote, board flare. Nice. Holding up the peace sign and or the two Olympic gold medals that she's won, which is great. So for the gameplay, we're using falling snow for all the edit styles here. And with that being said, let's get sweaty. So like I said, harvesting tool, not completely unique because we have similar things like this already, but it's still like, it's still nice. Like the impact looks really good. Parkour! Parkour! Sorry, I have to do that for squatting dog every time I do that because he yells parkour every time <laughs> that he... He does that in the game, but I did do a gameplay yesterday of my initial thoughts of no building guys ADS should be fine again. Um, the reactive portion I believe there's a lot of ice buildup on the left hand side So you're not gonna get it on your shooting shoulder, which is great But ADS seems really good, but the glider I'm really pumped about Noon Bola, um, sorry if I butchered it It's it's aggressive that deploy is super aggressive you have like a like an ice frost it kind of growls when you kind of thrust forward here so i'm going to do this a little higher in the air for you guys currently not moving forward now i am we'll go left all right so yeah a lot of growling when you go forward so that is fun that is really fun ads here at the range Again, falling snow wrap just to go with the winter theme. Equip and equip. Like it sounds good, but it's not completely unique on design. You know what I mean? Ooh. The snowflakes that it leaves behind are really cool. Like, I love the sound of it. Impact is blue and white at night as well here. Get a better POV of that. The back wings you can wear in the original style. We got their frozen love wings. This is what it came with, Sub-Zero Flight. She is Korean American. Even though the color schemes don't match here, we got USA and Korea for the Alpine Ace back wing. Blade bag, that pink is literally spot on. It's almost too perfect. We have dual combo with the new edit style. Opal Blast, we're trying to bring out more of that like turquoise color on the beanie here. Um, couldn't really get a super spot on match here. I tried again. It's like an unsaturated pinkish purple up there as well. Um, but we, we did go with like some frozen combos. We tried to bring in more of that turquoise, like I said. This from the battle pass looks so good. It's probably gonna look really good with the black and gold style too that we have for her. So that's a really, really good back fling. I was really surprised by that one. Frost Blast, Gwini. Um, the Hack Pack, although it is like a cell shade, it still looks fairly decent here. Not bad. Um, because she is the two-time gold medalist. We got the two-time on the back there. We have Shattered Wing here, and then we have the Shine Pack. In terms of what you can wear with the wings, um, like I said, it's not the first pair of Frozen Wings we have. So I'm not going into super crazy depth here, but still, you know, it's a different style of frozen wings here that we have. So it's okay. Castor and Elmira um, looks good on both of them, obviously. Um, a lot of frozen slash winter themed outfits here. For the combos, we have a uh, Frigid Forger for, for Goer. I always pronounce that wrong. We have Wildcat as well. We could do it on pretty much all three styles if you would like. Uh, maybe not the second, third and first for sure. Um, Shiver looks really good 
um glove shaker with the is this the mint style it is the mint style and then gia moving on so i did create a harvesting tool with the phantasmic blade to match this current color scheme here so i'm going to show you that hardcore okay so a little bit of black and gold slash orange this is the um the black and gold style here which i actually like Falling snow once again and i want to show you the glider at night i like the um like the frost trail that it has on it which is nice it's like it's defrosting as we're flying really cool glider though i like it a lot very well done all right but yeah this style looks good looks pretty good in the day as well not bad not bad still not sure what color gold it is in the game because we have like 10 gold shades so with this edit style i'm more or less just showing you um what gold we're looking for with the different golds we have in the game um in case you were curious um we're no stranger to golds so this shouldn't be super difficult for you guys but i did want to point out the spacing with back blings it's it's kind of far you know what i mean it's kind of a big gap there which can be a deal breaker for some of us uh, we got high caliber here which actually does not have awkward spacing that fits really well um the double h and stripe the physics again with the black and gold style here looks really good um this looks good but the spacing yikes yikes on that ornament again uh, winter themed with a little bit of gold and then the cobra coin so this is the reactive style um I'm not going to show you gameplay of the non-reactive because this is basically what it's going to be before I start getting elims on Sam and Irto. But this style really matches the wings really, really good. And then the hair, cotton candy hair, makes you want some cotton candy. And because Irto does not pay attention, I'm going to show the glider one more time here <laughs> for you guys with this edit style. <laughs> it's pretty loud when you deploy too. Like nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it looks really good i like the little whiskers too so um it should be elims take a good look at it here without any elims when you're adsing and just standing here we should have some ice build up all right first elim a little bit of ice um on her bicep etc her thighs her waist okay two elims here a little more aggressive still not affecting amy down sides whatsoever still looks good three elims the hands are a little bulky but still manageable not bad there not bad four elims now i know it's at a certain point she does have like an ice mask on i don't I think she has it right now. Let me show you the emote though. Board flare. I can't tell. Okay, she has the mask on. Cool. Now I didn't see like anything crazy after uh, four elims there, but I did see like a frost animation. She's, I think she's still going. Six elims. Her hair is frosty. <laughs> It's getting really cold in here guys. I don't know if it's just me it, it keeps showing like an animation of something changing change this time of day here as well M Maybe there's like a little bit more frost everywhere the higher you go <laughs> look at her hands though Oh man, can you parkour? What if the ice broke off as you parkour? Imagine That'd be nuts or when you jump you have like ice particles that fall off and make it non-reactive again just an idea fortnite i still think it looks good 10 elims and 11 so i think you're always going to kind of get that like frost animation um with each elim but like the big drastic change was like all the way up to five and six maybe you can't tell if she's wearing a mask right now though even though she is let me see if i can do an emote that would show her face maybe yeah there we go we can kind of see your face i have 13 fortnite stop doing this to me but hey combo time baby so i'm going to show you the back blings on the reactive version to show you what i think you should do to approach combos if you're going to use the reactive portion of the edit styles that you have i would do a pink back bling 
if you're not going to use the reactive style i would use a blue back bling because you can see here once she's reactive there's so much blue going on if you have a pink back bling on top of the ice then it will balance out a little bit more this is going to be a fun one for sure this is what it came with i'll show you an example here um, when we get to uh, a back bling i want to show you that does have a lot of pink so let's just say for example you have the reactive style on right right now it's a lot of pink on pink but once you implement more of that ice on the outfit it's really going to balance a lot more as opposed to having blue on blue with all the ice that she's going to have on her once she's reactive so that's how i would approach choosing what you want to wear same thing with something like this you're going to have a lot of ice build up it looks like a lot of pink on pink right now but once all the ice is implemented here balance out very well with a pink back bling as you can see that's the kind of thought process i'm going after we have bubble blast again scales um dragon theme can't go wrong there um, we have a nice ice companion now this will be a lot of ice but still it's a fun one and then the lunar light back blade and with that being said congrats to chloe kim thank you epic games that is supporter creator piz zero and adam shop you can get this tomorrow saturday 26th and we'll see you guys on the live stream see you